Alex, um, first of all, is like Charlie Mulgrew will lead the team tomorrow night? Yeah, yeah, Charlie is a natural choice, I feel. And and that's for this game. And we'll see what happens in the next game. As a, a leader on the park, presumably you expect him to lead by example. Yeah, and, and he, he's been doing that all, all his career and, and certainly this year with Blackburn. You know, he's excelled and he really looks a class act in that particular league. But we know that he's played at the top level and that the Scotland international is routine for Charlie and uh, we, we want him to help the young kids run about him. Or younger guys coming into the team maybe for the first time we could have we've got potentially 10 new caps but uh, Charlie's good, a good leader and uh, I think he deserves to be captain In terms of those young players who've been involved for the first time this week how many of them are you prepared to throw in from the start tomorrow night? Well you know there and uh, you have to manage expectation levels and you know I think that you know, we, we, we've got to seek to find a way to be more consistently winners in games. You know, we have had good performances over the last season or so, undefeated run, but we, we have to find a way to be consistent winners. It's the only only thing that will get us to the, the finals, but this is, uh, by and large, a test for the guys, a challenge for a lot of the, the, the players. When you when you kind of take a team together for the first time, then they don't have that rhythm that normally you would have. But you know, I think there's a great enthusiasm, and I would like to see the guys taking that enthusiasm that we've seen in training this week into the game and expressing themselves. Yeah, we have to be organised. We don't want to be open and e easy meet in terms of uh, penetration from the opposition. But we do want the guys to show how good they are as footballers. What are your expectations? Um, I like it. What should the fans' expectations be for this game in particular? We know obviously it's a friendly. Is it purely for you about getting a result, or is performance perhaps more important? I think performance is very, very important. You know, we, we let's let's be honest. We're not trying to create a team that we, th we think we can play like Barcelona. You know, it, we, we do want to play good football, we've got good footballers there, but we also have to remember some of our own strengths. And I think, you know, when you look at the squad, it's actually it's qu actually quite um, you know, a good presence in the squad in terms of stature for a lot of the players. Um, we have skillful players, we have quick players, good energy, and we, we're trying to help them in terms of their total preparation for the game. And, you know, performance level will be great, but, you know, I want to win. I want to win the game, and uh, it, winning breeds confidence. And as I said, we're looking for, as I said, looking for a consistent way to win. Given it's your first game back in charge, are you of a mind to try and show the fans something a bit different? To show them your style? Well, um, well I, I don't think it's rocket science. You know, when, when you talk about styles, I've always... Yeah, I worked with a man for 18... Well, eight years he was there, and it was about being dynamic, having a high tempo passing the ball and I've tried to have that style in, in all of my teams sometimes you don't get it sometimes you don't have the players at your disposal but you know I think by and large that's the way that I would like to see my teams playing How have you found this first week back in international management? Well it's it, I, I've been working over you know, a month now virtually it's been fabulous Preparation time, but we all know that um, everything you shout about or, or all the nice praise in the, the press means nothing unless you win football matches, and I'm very aware of that. And I have to manage expectations, but 
I'd, I'd like, like to see this group of guys taking the bull by the horns and uh, taking their opportunity over these two games. Do you have a, a team in mind for tomorrow night? Have you worked that out yet? Oh yeah, I've got I've got a team in team in mind. Yeah, um, we have to be organised at least in that. You know, we, there's a few things that I've not named the team yet. So yeah, there's a few things we have to uh, have meetings about in terms of set pieces and organisation. Uh, we played a practice match in, in Edinburgh the other day and uh, it, we just let the players play. And the, the the great thing about modern technology is you can video these games now and go over it and, and see where we have to tighten up a little bit or where we show a good imagination, good things and and things we can improve on. And that's the beauty of technology. What kind of challenge are you expecting? Oh, we've watched. Uh, I've watched a few Costa Rica games. They, they've they've had incredible last minute winners in in their World Cup campaign, culminating in the, the Honduras game where they scored in the ninety fourth minute. So we know that they're a they're a team that played the final whistle, and there's, they're a good technical team. You know, there's, there's no doubt about it. They're they're competing with Mexico and and other South American teams and dumping United States out of the World Cup is no mean feat. You've obviously not had a lot of time with this squad so far, but from what you've seen, how would you sort of compare the quality you've got on offer compared to your last spell? <laughs> the last squad was hugely experienced. So that that's what the last squad had over this one. The last squad were you know, mainly playing with a they had play, been playing with their clubs for a number of years, whereas a lot of the guys are starting out a couple of years here and there, and and still trying to make a name for themselves. You see Scott McTominay coming into Man United's team, having barely played six or seven games. I'm not sure how many it is, uh, and he's a good young prospect. And there's, there's others in the same kind of category as him, with not many caps. A lot of these guys that I I took over from Walter had many many caps. There wasn't any any rookies, and and that's the difference. And we, as I said, we'll try we to, to get the rhythm as quickly as possible. Can you already see the potential of where you can take these young players in the direction you'd like to go with this team? Yeah, well, we we want to qualify for the the Euros. That is our goal. That is our number one goal, and and we. We will never have that out of our minds. Um, you know, it's not something to worry about. It's something to face head on and 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 uh, you know and endorse it, embellish it. You know, um, sorry, um, love it. You know, absolutely love it. <coughs> uh, and that's again, I think we want to get a bit of bravado back into people's mentality and believe that they can compete with the best teams in Europe and if not the world. Your memories of 1990? Costa Rica game? Costa Rica game, yeah, I remember it well. Um, we, we were a bit apprehensive going into that game. You know, I didn't think we... You know, we, we, we thought the goalkeeper was a weak point. Um, we bombarded him with crosses and I think he took... 17 out of 20 or something so it was a great performance by him and and I don't think we were at our best we, we may be a bit apprehensive about losing the game rather than than embracing that was the word I was looking for earlier embracing the the, the fact that we you know we want to, we got to win this we were more scared of losing and I think that that edginess was the key factor and that's what I, I, I want our guys to eliminate for, from their minds is when they go into games is to be gallus, if you like, you know, um, believe in yourself. It's a Scottish player and a, a guy who these guys are in the, in the squad in merit. They've been playing very well for their clubs and that's why we chose them. Are you saying then that you think there's got to be almost a change in mentality, more of a kind of, more of a swagger about the Scottish players? Yeah, I, I've I've felt that in recent years that we 
we, we maybe haven't had that swagger and if that's I don't think that's the only difference we, we want to try and as I said um, the last campaign undefeated we were so close to the playoffs but we've got to find a way to, to go one better than that yeah, very often you, you get young players coming in and playing with no inhibitions whatsoever and then maybe a part of their career comes along when they start thinking about everything. So I want them to be clear in their minds that there's only one mission here and it's to play to their top level top performance level, concentration. We, When we don't have the ball, they have to recover quickly. They have to close down quickly. If we can't close down, then we, we, we gather together as a group to make sure that we are difficult to beat as well. But when we have the ball, we'll look to express and, and hopefully play as expansively as the opposition would allow us. Momentum the last time you were manager, you've got more friendlies this time to, to, come in yeah. to come into the middle of the campaign. But is it still important to get that momentum going, get, get the fans behind you? Well, it would be. It would be be ideal if we could do well in all the friendlies. Yeah, because it sets you up. It increases the confidence. It, it increases the the belief in what you're doing. In the back, you know, behind the scenes as well, we've got a great performance team. And also what we're doing on the, the pitch and, and how we're guiding the players. You know, you don't get a lot of time in international football to coach players as such, but we can give them advice that James McFadden, Peter Grant, myself have, have uh, gained throughout our careers and pass it on. But they, they'll be getting great coaching from their own clubs and that's the majority we 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 are talking about motivation and is is one of the key factors. Tactical um, nous is very important. Sometimes that comes when as you get older and more experience. And uh, I found later on in my own career that even if I wasn't wasn't feeling my best, I could get through it because of my experience and and give a good performance. Maybe seven. Out of tens, you know, without maybe feeling you're at your best. Whereas we, we the young ones can come into it and just, you know, it's no, no worries at all. Just get stuck right into it and give off their best performances. In terms of the squad, um, those who are involved, taking into account those who are not involved who have pulled out, how far do you think this squad is from punching at full strength? All things considered. <coughs> Again, that's that's something we have to see. I, I, it's hard for me to evaluate that and say because if I come out and start saying this squad, there's no limits for this squad, then uh, and we, and we don't get quite get the results or, or performance level, then I'm looking like an idiot. So, you know, I'm I'm very cautious in that side of it. But at the same time, I've been very impressed by. Way that the players have trained this week, and as I said to you, that we have you know a good bit of strength in the team, but and also good athleticism. And now it's obviously down to the technique and the organisation. I can give them the organisation. I can uh, give them some little tips and in terms of um, recovery. That, that's that's all mental strength. It's all mental training. But they bring me their A game, then they're going to be getting, you know, good marks out of ten. For you personally, Alex, how does it feel to be back in charge ahead of this game? Is there an added sense of pressure for you second time around? <laughs> yeah, um, well, well, I guess because I you know I had a quite a good win ratio, albeit it wasn't a lot of games. Uh, so I know that you know because big Sam Allardyce, he's got. 100 percent you know and and when you, you you don't play as many games then you know your percentage can be higher but i'm well aware you know we you, you have to look at the the downside if uh, we don't win them then you know is it, is it a bad start 
or is it the start of something better? Um, but we are going for the win, and we want to play to, the, as I said, the very best level that every single player can can give us. What are you looking forward to walking out here again, the Scotland manager? I love Hamden. You know, it's it's we've had many successes here, uh, both as a player and and as international manager, <coughs> and as a manager at other clubs. And and it's you know, there's nothing better when you hear the Hamden roar. Maybe we we're not going to get the crowd that we perhaps get against England. Yeah, let's be realistic, but. We thank every fan who comes to this game, and, and as, as I look at these new young players coming through, and uh, you know, I'm sure that if the pl young players give them something to shout about, then we'll hear the, the Tartan Army roar, and, and that for me is the tingle up the spine.